Cisco is providing the networks for today, enabling BYOD and allowing the exponential growth and the plethora of mobile devices and consumer devices onto the network for productivity and for business use. But it's also looking forward to the future, hence the Internet of Things. And it's providing and innovating the networks that will support our customers in the future as well. In partnership with Redcentric, Cisco therefore works to serve our customers in today's networking needs, ensuring that we meet their needs to deploy BYOD, to migrate to cloud, um, to deploy better applications in the data center. And Cisco in innovates and invents these technologies and partnerships with companies like Redcentric mean that we can really deploy those in a very high quality manner to our customers. So the Internet of Things is really the change from the Internet from today, where we have 10 billion devices connected to the Internet, approximately, and um, to the future. And at Cisco, we're looking forward to the year 2020, when there will be approximately 50 billion devices and things connected to the Internet. But the big difference is that today, the 10 billion things connected to the Internet are things whose core function is actually computing. Things like a computer, a tablet, a mobile phone, etc. Whereas in 2020, the 50 billion things that will be connected, it's not just computing devices. It's things like your car, your washing machine, your television, your traffic lights, yourself actually, maybe even your dog. And that's what the Internet of Things is, and that's the difference between today's network and the network of 2020. And it will need companies like Redcentric who can support us. We'll have the technology to be able to connect these things to the Internet, but who's going to manage those services? And who's going to provide those services as a service? And that's going to be where companies like Redcentric come in, and that's why our partnership with Redcentric is so important. Let's have a think about how the Internet of Things is going to make us feel as a consumer. Let's start with the easy example of connecting your car to the Internet. Right now, if you jump a red light, you can pretty much get away with it if a police car doesn't happen to be right behind you. But when the red light is connected or the traffic light is connected to the Internet and your car is connected to the Internet, we're not going to be able to get away with it anymore. The good news is our car insurance is going to be based specifically on how we drive rather than on a demographic. And so what that means is at least we'll have fairer car insurance as a benefit as well. But that's just an easy example as a consumer. The Internet of Things will have big impacts in terms of the supply chain and therefore improve profits and increase revenues for our enterprise private customers. It's going to have big impact on the healthcare industry and other public sectors whereby we can measure and monitor and take care of patients at home so our hospitalization costs will be reduced. So a lot of our public sector cost, uh, costs are really going to come down. And the social impact on our citizens the ability for the Internet of Things to reduce terrorism, to reduce crime, to improve social care, it's phenomenal. So it really does have a benefit across the private sector, the public sector and the social aspects. And that's really all the three areas that we're looking at at Cisco is how can the technology help us in all those areas. <laughs>